here we're looking at the HP quick launch button issue that I found to be rather common and this is an HDX 16T that's having this problem and from what I've been reading it's not just these new HDX's that are having these quick launch button issues but it seems that every laptop that HP has made with their quick launch button technology including the new DB2, DB6 and all these other ones that they've got the, the, the current model line all have this issue with the quick launch buttons that people are having where the quick launch buttons just want to work on their own and I've been having that issue with this and I have went ahead and disassembled at least the crucial parts of the laptop to get to it and your problems is all right here it's this board that operates the quick launch buttons and it's connected via a ribbon, ribbon cable that goes to the main board and people have tried updating their drivers updating the bios all kinds of things and none of them do the job it's all this one little strip of hardware right here now you could go out actually onto a place like eBay or something like that and you can actually just buy this replacement and stick it on. There is only two pieces of this that I had to take apart to get to the quick launch board here. They actually call this the keyboard cover on the HDX16 and you have to take the uh, switch cover which is basically the speaker cover off first before you can pull this off and so as you see it's connected to the quick watch tested it I've had this disconnected I've already put the ribbon cable back on because I'm gonna reassemble this since there's nothing I can do on it right now but, uh, that's where your problem lies so I'm gonna go ahead and put this back together and I highly recommend that if you own any HP laptop, you go to the HP site and you get their maintenance and service guide off the support site. I highly suggest you go out and get this for your computer. If you can save money and time, especially if your computer is out of warranty, if you want to replace something on it or perhaps upgrade it, the service guide will tell you all the types of screws, the processors that you can use, the amount of memory you can support, and all that stuff. And it goes step by step on the procedure to both remove and reinstall components in the laptop. And that's what I use to get to this. So I've already just summoned and I'm going to reverse the procedure and put this all back together so we can show, at least on the HDX16, how this goes. And they all have these little notches. So what I need to do is hopefully get these all back into place. Get those in there. This is going to probably snap in place. And let me tell you, the maintenance and service guide, that's exactly the thing they use at the HP Service Center when you send it in for warranty. That is what they use to rebuild and replace the components when you send it in for warranty when you have a problem. It's, that's the exact same guide they use. As far as I've seen, only HP has provided the guides so you can work on it yourself. I haven't seen Toshiba or any other manufacturer for that matter provide the guides so that you can do that. Get them all in here. It's a slow process because you don't want to break any of these tabs. I'm trying to get it in here where it all fits. I don't want to get any binding either. Okay, we almost have it all here. Trying to get the front. Yeah. Okay, let's 
front just rests in those tabs. Doesn't actually go under it. Okay, this is down now. Okay. Alright, button board. First thing we need to do is put the screws back in. So on the 16, you have. Oh, that's just that. There's two screw holes, one here, one here. That holds in the keyboard cover, which is holding the quick launch button board. So we can put those screws back in and secure that back. Okay, got that. Now we gotta reinstall the power button cover. Now there is a little bit of binding. Maybe there's some binding. Uh, gonna have to work that out here. know the power button board may cover may just push that back down. Now I gotta get this piece back on. This one I gotta be careful with because it's definitely a delicate piece. Now that went in pretty easy. Once I screw it down It'll pull everything nice and tight. Now for that you got five screw holes. You got the one next to this leg and the other one next to this leg and you've got the three in the battery compartment. You have two of these long ones that go on the legs and then there's three short ones that go in the battery bay. Get to put the ones that are in the main bed today. Nice and flat again. That was a simple uninstallation reinstallation of the keyboard cover and power button cover as it's outlined in the manual. All I gotta do is put the battery back in. And everything should work. And it does. Well, this technically doesn't work, but I'm going to soon fix that. But that shows you how easy it is to get to these quick launch button board if you should choose to replace it yourself, especially if your laptop is out of warranty. So like I say, go on the site if you've got an HP laptop and get the maintenance and service guide. This will help you out a lot.